Oh, shoot! What is up? Welcome back to another TikTok hacks video. Let's get right into it. There's this thing that's really appetizing that I saw. All you gotta do is take some onion ring slices, dip it all here. We have some hot sauce. Nice. Grab some bacon, wrap this onion coated in hot sauce with the bacon. Mm. Just like that. So the onion ring is coated in the bacon. So let's make a couple more. Boom! So we made a whole bunch, and then we basically just use skewers to keep the bacon intact. What we do now is we go to the oven. We don't have an oven, so we have this air fryer. It's probably gonna taste a lot better. So we're gonna put these there. Oh, these look so good. There you go. All right, let's turn this baby on. Now we wait. In the meantime, let's move on to the next hack. So this next TikTok hack that I saw is basically if you lose a jar cap, okay, let's say this is filled with water or whatever, in this case it's balloons, grab your balloon, you wanna blow up the balloon just like this. And then your jar should be completely sealed. How effective is it though? I don't know, let's put some water in here and find out. All right, so I guess let's flip this down. If the water comes out, then this is not really too effective. All right, I think we're good. Let's check on this onion bacon. Ooh, it's looking really good. I don't think it's done yet, but let's take a closer look what it looks like. Ooh, that, ooh, look at all that fat, that oiliness. All right, let's give it like five more minutes and let's move on to the next TikTok hacks. This next hack is probably super delicious to some of you, but it's delicious to me. So what I saw is they took nacho cheese, okay? We're slowly melting it right now, and we have bags of hot Cheetos and Funyuns. Oh, I think this is done. All right, let's check it out, ready? Did you hit the subscribe button? 66% of you not subscribed. Please subscribe, support the channel. Did you do it? Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Let's check on these hot Cheetos. Oh, oh, not hot Cheetos. What am I saying? This is like bacon. Oh my goodness. So we're, while we wait for the cheese to melt and get hot, we're gonna take one of these real quick. Oh, let's see how this tastes. So let's take samples, sample number A, and then let's give it a bite and see how it tastes. Ready? It's hot. Mmm, it's good. It's good. So here's how this hack works, okay? So grab your bag, and we're gonna just fold the bottoms like this so it could stand up regularly like that. Cut the top just like that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Do the same thing for the Funyuns. Cut the top a little bit. So this alone is a hack by itself. If you want your chip bag to stand, just fold the bottom inwards and then it'll create a really good solid base. And now we just slowly just drizzle the top of the hot Cheetos with the nacho cheese. And then if you want to do another one, you can drizzle the flaming hot Funyuns too. Oh, there you go. But the question is, how does it taste? Let's try it out. It's probably gonna taste delicious. Let's get a good piece here. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah, let's grab hot Cheetos. Mm. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, flaming hot Cheetos with the cheese. Oh, look at that. So if you ever wanna go to the movies and you wanna sneak in some food, don't sneak in food, but this would be my sneak in food of choice. Flaming hot nacho cheese, Chino. Mm. So this next hack, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to basically just peel off the tomato skins. Cause sometimes people do not eat tomato skin. All you wanna do is cut them in half, grab your skillet, put some oil in the Skrillex. 
put the tomatoes face down, just like that. Just like this. All right. Now we wait for it to steam up and boil. In the meantime, let's move on to the next hack. All right, just kidding. We have to go over here because it's been like 20 minutes. So the easiest way to peel off your tomato skin is to let it boil a bit. And then once it's boiled, it should easily come out like that, okay? Because some people don't like the tomato skins. Ooh, look at that. That. Look at this one right here. Mm. So this next hack, we're gonna make some crispy potato skins. Grab your potato, grab a peeler, start peeling the potato skin. So you get your potato skins, put a little bit of peppers, get some salt, mix it around. Now grab some oil, we're just gonna lather it just a little bit. Massage it thoroughly. Put it right over here in this aluminum. Now, set your oven to 200 degrees, and we're just gonna stick it right into this oven. All right, bam! So this next hack, while we wait for the potato skin to cook, this is probably the best lava lamp hack I've seen. Grab your canola oil. We're gonna fill the container two-thirds of the way. Grab your vinegar, and we're gonna fill one-thirds of this container with the vinegar. We're just gonna put some food coloring in this puddle. Now we're gonna add some glitter, cause why not? Green and pink. And then we're just gonna mix it up just a little bit. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look at this. Pour it into this vase. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, even that by itself just looks very mesmerizing to look at. Now it's time to activate the lava lamp. So baking soda activates vinegar, which causes the reaction. So let's pour just a little bit to see, just to test it out. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Look at that reaction. That is satisfying. Look at the top. It's like little puddles of like, kind of looks like mold coming up from the bottom. <laughs> it's very mesmerizing. Look at that, just oozing up. And then the top, it just looks like a straight up like a sauna or like a hot tub. It's probably gonna overflow, but let's, let's hope not. Ooh, very Halloween-like, I must say. Let's turn it around so you guys can see the other side. Ooh. So if you wanna make a lava lamp, this is probably the best one I've seen as far as like how easy it is and like the way it looks and how long it lasts. Speaking of, let's check up the potato skins. Here we go, so let's open this up. Get this aluminum foil out. Ow! Ooh, so it looks pretty much the same, but it's a little crispy, so let's take one of this. I feel like this is a good test subject, and we're just gonna bite into it. Mmm, yo! Oh, that's disgusting! <laughs> Ooh, ew! I say, peel the skin off, throw away the skin, and cook the potato, okay? I think that's that's a lot better than the hash cam. Hello, let's say you got some groceries, and sometimes it's really tedious to get, you know, cans of soda into the fridge. Well, there's an easy hack to do that. All you gotta do is open one side, okay? And then open the other side. And now just put it in here. And now just push it all in like this. Voila! Your soda's fridge now. <laughs> so this next hack, you wanna make some pancakes, but you don't have a stove. All you have is this coffee maker, okay? So take this out, all right? Put some canola oil right here. Now once the, the hot plate is heated up, pour it in there. Ooh, just like that. And we're gonna spread it out a little bit to make it very circular. Cool, while we wait for this pancake, let me show you this. Uh, this is a very explosive hack. Follow me here. I'm just super excited to see what this does. So apparently you can make a ketchup bottle explode violently. All you need is a ketchup bottle. Pour some baking soda inside of the ketchup bottle. Close it up. Now just mix it up. So what this does, it's the same thing, because ketchup is very acidic. 
like vinegar and baking soda and vinegar causes a really, uh, just think of it like a baking soda vinegar volcano. All the pressure, look, it's, it's getting thick. I feel like it's just gonna do it by itself here. So uh, everyone back up. I have no idea how violent this will be. This is the ketchup explosion. Three, two, one. Okay, nothing. I think it's because there's a pressure that we gotta like make the pressure go away. I don't know if it's sealed or not, but I'm so scared. Here we go. I am so scared. I'm gonna smack it, okay? Ready? Oh man, it's hard as a rock. Here we go. Oh! I think I'm just gonna un unwrap it. I'm just gonna, hold on, I need gloves for this because I don't trust this ketchup bottle. I have never been so scared of a ketchup bottle in my entire life. Okay, three, two, one. I can't even open it, it's like so. Let's try that again. We use a little bit of this ketchup. Let's put some bacon soda in here. All right, everyone stand back. I'm gonna shake this up. Oh yeah, I feel it. It's getting like bulkier. It's getting, oh shoot! Oh! So all we gotta do for this pancake now is flip it. Okay, guys, just invest in a stove and just do it regularly. Don't break your coffee maker with a pancake. So my question is, ketchup does it, mustard? Let's try out this. Here we go. I'm assuming there's vinegar substances and mustard as well. Oh, I feel it. Three, two, one. Oh! If mustard does it, the sriracha dude. Now I'm just like trying to just uh, explode my con. Don't do this at home or anywhere. Don't go to the grocery store or a restaurant and do this. Okay, let's do this. I'm sure there's like some kind of like, you know, vinegar substances in sriracha as well. So let's uh, do that. You can kind of see the reaction as it happens here. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's thick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Should I do it? Here we go. <laughs> nah, I'm just squeezing it out though. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching my subscribers. Stay juicy.